Hello guys. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I really shouldn't eat sandwiches before I start doing recording. It's a very bad habit to maintain. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. So let's start again, shall we? Welcome, guys. Welcome to another um, game walkthrough review, where it's not really a review or a walkthrough. Yes, there's a game involved, but um, so... <laughs> <laughs> what am I talking about? Today we're going to talk about Zomboid. Um, this is the free demo that you can download, and as always, links in the bar below. Um, yeah, so, what is Zomboid? Zomboid is uh, an isometric sort of RPG third person game with zombies in it. And it's quite... I th it's quite <laughs> it's quite realistic. It's sort of so basically, apocalypse has occurred and there are zombies and we are surviving. Our, our main character has survived and uh, we are going to survive a bit lo <laughs> a bit longer. Yeah. So um, this game uh, is not on a full release. It was kind of released, but then they were getting pirated by evil pirates. Who were really screwing these guys over and uh, wrecking their project? So <sighs> it's not very good. So at the point of this recording, I'm not sure if it's actually available to buy, but I know that the demo can be bought and uh, not bought, downloaded and, and played. So it gives you a good idea anyway. And if you look, it's only like version 0.1.3. C. <laughs> very important that C. Anyway. Yeah, so, and as they say, and there's a little intro piece that says that this is not, you know, don't judge us by this game. But honestly, I really think that we should judge them by this game, because I think it's awesome. Awesome, man! <laughs> Let's click to begin, shall we? Enough of this rambling. I'll press, perhaps we press space. Oh no, we're fading in, I think. Are we? Yes, gradually, appears to be fading. We look like we are. Does it fade this slow normally? I don't know. It's very atmospheric, though. I don't know if my voice will wreck the whole atmosphere. Let's find out. Get to the game. These are the end times. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. So I shouldn't laugh. I now have a tendency to laugh. We have to keep maintaining the atmosphere. These are the end times. But we do need to click. Hmm. Perhaps that's it. <laughs> no, I know full well that this isn't it. Alright. So, this is the gameplay. I'm going to spare you the... Well, not so much sparing you, but I, I don't want to sort of spoiler it a little bit. But I'll give you a brief overrun. There is a lot of sort of text um, story to it, and there's conversations between um, our main character and Kate Smith. I presume this is John Smith. Uh, this is Kate Smith, and she is our wife. This is the main character's wife. Um, now, the gameplay is, is sort of like a standard... It is a standard sort of isometric game in terms of gameplay. Um, let's press space. There are items we can collect, as we uh, you would expect in an RPG-style game. However, it is a bit like Minecraft. Well, it that's the... the that's the la <laughs> that's the lazy man's um, analogy. So yes, you can craft items from other items. So now we have bandages, and then we can apply bandages. If we click on world object, see now she's bandaged up. Isn't that good? And now we'll give her some painkillers. Hey Kate, take these painkillers. It'll all be it'll all be over soon. Don't worry about this. <laughs> She got, I think, I presume that she got attacked by zombies. Um, so yeah, I've played this game before. Um, I, the game, the aim of the game is to survive for as long as possible. Um, and I've survived for, I think, uh, five days. <laughs> Doesn't sound very good, but I think that's pretty impressive, to be honest. Let's have a look. Let's add these to our inventory. Now, I do know of a method that would allow us to cheat the game, but I'm not going to cheat. 
Oh crap, I've just cheated. <laughs> oh no, we're loaded down with planks of wood, they're so heavy. Planks of wood are quite heavy though, I suppose, aren't they? Oh dear, I cheated again. I didn't do that on purpose, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on. Right, we're hungry. That's This is the other great thing about this game, anyway. Uh, let's just talk about it a little bit more about the game and not about cheating the game. I'm presuming it's just a bug that they will certainly patch. Um, but basically, um, the game is sort of, is quite, I don't know what, what, what the word would be, true to life, in a way? Let's uh, equip some planks and a uh, no, equip some planks. So your character will get tired. Your character will get uh, wor worn down if you're carrying too much stuff. They'll become exhausted. So you need to eat, and that gives you the motivation to go outside. And going outside makes uh, <laughs> basically means you have to confront what is out there. And what's out there? Yeah, that's right. There's zombies out there. Um, now we're just securing this place. Uh, the reason I'm boarding up the windows, by the way, apart from being a main quest point, uh, is because if you uh, don't, zombies will be able to see you through the window, and then they will come and nom. <laughs> nom upon you! Which is not, um, as I say, positive. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. yeah. So the um, Kate is basically saying that uh, we are her hero because if without us she would be a zombie, um, groaning and moaning and gnawing. Um, can we skip this conversation a bit? I want you guys to play this game, okay? Go out and play this game because it's awesome. I don't know if I'm, I'm really selling it as well as I should do. But basically, it's just amazing. Look, we are uh, we are pecking at the moment, but I think when we wake up, we'll be hungry. Yeah. So when you get hungry, it reduces your strength and your ability to heal, which um, is obviously interesting. It is good. It's like it's like real life. Yeah. The, our wife uh, Kate is telling us to not be a man. And by that she means no he stupid heroics. You just get the the food and then you uh you deal. Uh deal with situations, risky situations like uh, I don't know, perhaps coming across a zombie, maybe <laughs> with caution. No hero, no hero nonsense. Oh my word! It's a zombie! <laughs> we all knew there was a zombie in here, didn't we? Yeah. Time to attack. Now, the combat, uh, for me, uh, needs a little work. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I love the game, but the combat needs some work. But let's get these tins of soup. What's in this kitchen? Oven is off. Here's some more tins of soup. Now a little trick I like to use to kill me some zombies. I don't know if I should be doing this. We leave that oven on. Because what happens when you leave on in ovens on unattended? <laughs> That's right. You have a house fire. It's quite cool. What What it is about this game that really appeals to me, and I think it appeals to a lot of people, is the fact it's got this element of sort of almost cynical realism about it. Um, where, well, in fact, there's a particularly disturb. Oh, maybe we should uh, board up the door. We don't want any zombies coming through. The zombies can't open up the door. Open up doors, by the way, just so you know. But they can bash doors down, and so. Oh dear, we need to we need to make a tin of soup. So we need to <laughs> it's like Minecraft but different. Better than not really I don't know. That that <laughs> I like Minecraft. Some people don't like it. I don't know why. It is quite a fun game. Some people think it's all a bit sort of Oh, we need to put the soup on the stove, don't we? We have we need to put the soup on the stove. Yeah. Turn our stove on. 
Bot on our soup. Hey, it's working. Let's take that off and turn it off. Anyway, so yes, so basically you get the idea, don't you? I think that you do. You're getting the idea. And now Kate has turned the radio on. Well, she should really turn it off. Kate, turn off the radio. We're not tired enough. Right. No, I just want you to turn the radio off. You're going to attract attention that we don't need, we don't want, we don't really need to hear all of this. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Anyway, what, I mean, I don't really want to spoiler it, but uh, I think we are going to attract some attention here. Let's just hide in the, down here, I think. Hide in the toilet. So this is just a sort of, like, brief overview of the game. It's not, like... Oh crap, oh crap, oh man, oh dear. <laughs> we didn't turn the oven off. Oh no, 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 we're in trouble. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh no, no, now we're on fire. Do we have a fire status? No, I don't know. Quick, we've got to get Kate out. Oh my word, Kate's going to burn. Oh my word, we've got minor injuries. Kate, come on, come with me. Come with me, come on. We're carrying Kate out of the burning building, but we're going to we're gonna attract so many zombies. Oh my word, this is bad. Oh man. No, oh, no, this is not how you win in this game, but <laughs> this is no, I, and we're too heavy, I know it's heavy, we've got to get out though, we've got to get out, oh my word, come on, come on, let's get Kate out of here, oh my, what's happening, oh, okay, <laughs> oh no, this is awful, <laughs> <laughs> you can die in this game very easily. You gotta watch yourself. This is the beauty of the game. I want you all to go and play this game now. Go and get the demo if you can't buy it. And then once the game comes out to buy, go and buy it because it, it, it's very. Look, there's a zombie. The zombies are attracted by fire. Now my plan with this other building was, I'd, oh, man, I can't believe I forgot to turn the oven off. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I I I just I love the game. My plan with the other building was to have the same situation happen because the fire and noise attract zombies, but also they die of the fire. So I was basically going to get the zombies to walk into the fire and burn up and 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 die, and that would rid us of a few zombies. I don't know if there's like a limited amount of zombies. I haven't worked that out yet. If like they spawn, or if there's just like a limited amount. Anyway. Yeah, we've had an unfortunate situation on our hands. <laughs> unfortunate that we've died. Yes, everybody. Death. Death comes to us all. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully not me for some time. Yes, anyway. Um, so this is this game. And I very much appreciate uh, you uh, listening to what I've got to say about it. So thank you. And if you do like the look of it, please go and support these guys. Because... They, they've had a rough time with the pirates, and uh, you know what pirates are like. They're all camp and have beards. <laughs> oh look, someone's trying to bash through the door. I think it's zombies, they attracted to noise. It doesn't matter what the noise is. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. So stay safe, take care of yourself, and what is happening down there? There's lots of splatters of blood. We can't really see. I suppose we're dead, really, so we don't really know. Take care of yourself. <laughs> yeah, and goodbye.